Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Brett with Diesel and Deadlifts. And today's video is gonna be about tinting the amber marker lights that come on your tow mirrors, the 2015 and up GM style tow mirrors. Um, so this is them right here. As you see, they're in the OEM form. They're absolutely filthy. And you'll see here is the amber marker light uh, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. So in order to have a cool bro truck, you're going to want to tint that guy. It does look like it's going to rain today, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull the truck in the garage. So this is what we're going to be working with today. This is the actual tent itself that's going to be going over the amber portion of the tow mirror, uh, tinting those lights. And so this is what I ordered off Amazon. It's the V Vivid Air Tent Dark Black Headlight Tail Light Window Tent. Uh, I went with the 12 by 24, the two roll pack. It's obviously $12.99 with Amazon Prime free shipping. So. Uh, First impression, it seems like to be pretty good stuff, but uh, we'll see how it is once it gets on the truck. So, excuse me for the poor lighting, it's probably pretty crappy, but the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and clean off this mirror, uh, specifically the part we're going to be tenting over. That way, no kind of contaminant, dirt, debris, that sort of thing, interferes with the adhesive on the tent. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just clean it off real quick. I don't believe there's any crazy cleaning method we need to do here. I'm probably just going to use a uh, window cleaner I have, spray, and just wipe off with a microfiber. All right, so after you've cleaned off the mirror of just general dirt and debris uh, using, you know, whatever you want to use, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean it off again using isopropyl alcohol. So what this is going to do is give it another wipe down and it's going to kind of dry the surface out to allow for the adhesive on the tent to, you know, adhere better. I'm going to take a little bit of this, carefully dump it on the rag. Okay, that wasn't so careful. And just go ahead and give it a good wipe down. Alright, so I got the mirror surfaced all nice and cleaned off. And so here are the tools we're going to be using today. Um, first and foremost, excuse my workstation, it's my garage gym that I haven't been using as much lately. Um, so first and foremost, we got the tent itself. Second, we got our heat gun. That's going to help uh, the tent shrink and actually stick to the mirror. And then we got the um, felt strip squeegee. Sorry, I had a lapse in words there. And then last but not least, we got our X-Acto knife. And we're going to be using that to uh, trim around the edge of the reflector so that the excess tent gets cut off. All right, so here's the tent film. I have it all unraveled. Um, as you see, the reflectors, not that big compared to the actual tent itself. We do, however, want to leave some slack. Uh, that way we can kind of stretch and pull at the tent to get any uh, bubbles or creases out. So um, I'm probably gonna use about a couple, probably about two or three inches excess of the film. That might be too much, but since this is my first time, I'd rather use too much than too little. And I'm probably going to end up trimming uh, the, the film about right here uh, before we go ahead and apply. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that with scissors. All right, so now I'm actually going to be sticking the tent itself onto the mirror. So what you're going to do is peel this adhesive backing. And when you do that, you want to be careful not to uh, touch the actual adhesive itself. That way you don't introduce any contaminants to that which may interfere with the bond it's going to make to the mirror. So uh, I'm going to peel this and carefully lay it on.
Alrighty, so this is kind of the hard part. Um, so once we have the tent uh, adhered on there, well, not adhered yet, but uh, once we have the tent kind of on there how we like it, we're gonna go ahead and take our heat gun and apply some heat, which is really gonna get that bad boy to stick. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure all the bubbles, all the creases are out of the tent. After that, we're gonna be free to go ahead and trim, and this job's gonna be done. Now when you're doing this, you wanna be sure that you use the lower setting on your heat gun so that way you don't burn uh, the vinyl, which can happen. All right, so we're done with the heat gun, and as you see, it looks pretty good. We went ahead and used the low setting on the heat gun. Went ahead, carefully went through, back and forth, uh, over the vinyl. And as you can see, it did adhere pretty well. Not very many air pockets. This tent was actually very easy to work with. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it was advertised to be bubble-free and doesn't require a lot of experience. Uh, that's how they what they said on Amazon on the item description and I gotta say for once it's pretty accurate all right so the next step we're gonna do we're gonna head we're gonna go ahead and get our exacto knife so this little guy right here um, you know not for kids be very careful with these guys and we're gonna go ahead and carefully trim around the marker light cutting off all of this excess that we don't need So I think I got it all turned up pretty well. We're going to go ahead and peel all the excess adhesive off and see how it turns out. All right, guys, there's the finished product. As you see, everything looks nice and clean. I haven't given it a final wipe down yet, but overall, I got to say, I'm very impressed with this. Um, pretty easy job, very DIY friendly. And uh, when you go ahead and compare it to the other side, much, much nicer, a much cleaner, much sportier look. So you guys might have been wondering, hey, how does this tent affect the light output of the actual mirror? Well, here it is, guys. Believe it or not, this is with the tent film on there. Uh, when compared to the other side, which I haven't done yet, it's probably 5 or 10% darker. Uh, so, you know, not very much at all, pretty negligible and it's gonna be very visible at night still. So overall, uh, all pros, no cons here.